Hi everyone, this is Asma Khalid from Cyber Panel and in today's video we will be learning about how to use Motic AWS to send out mass emails. So for example, if you need to send one single email or a campaign of emails to a number of contacts at the very same time, you don't have to send them one by one by using Motic uh, and AWS, you can very easily send them out at the very same time. So in this video, we will be learning about how you can customize your Motec, how you can create Motec using Cyber Panel first of all, and then how you can customize your AWS, how you can configure your Motec and eventually create a campaign and send out emails. So without further ado, let's just jump straight to the video. Okay, so first of all, you need to create a cyber panel account. If you don't know how to create it, don't worry. There's a link above. You can just simply click on it and learn how to create an account on cyber panel. Next, you need to have a domain that should be configured on Cloudflare. For example, uh, right now I have this uh, domain all configured in Cloudflare. If you don't know how, don't worry about it. Just Simply click this link that is displayed on your screen to learn how to do that. Okay, so once uh, both these things are ready, simply go into your websites and click on create website. From here, select your package, your owner, admin domain name enter your email like you only have to enter your relevant data over here once you do that click on create website and it's so simple to create sites using sap panel okay so once your site has been successfully created again go into websites and this time click on list websites From here you will see that your site has been created click on manage for your site okay so your this is going to be your sites management panel scroll down to the very end and click on Motec so we're going to install Motec from here I'm going to enter my email ID Next, I need a password. Oh, I need a username as well. Okay, so the installation has been done successfully. So now when you open your site instantaneously, your Motic site will open up. Now simply enter the information that you have entered uh, before installing your Motic site and you'll be able to log into your So this is going to be your dashboard. Next, we're going to see the configuration we need to do for AWS. Okay, so now we're going to see what changes we're going to do in our AWS account. So first of all, log into your AWS console. From here, you can either search for SCS or if you have previously visited uh, that part of the site, you can see it right over here. You can click from here as well. Now it's super simple to create an identity over here. Simply click on create identity. From here, click on domain. 
Once you're happy with all the information, just simply click on create identity. Okay, so uh, in this page, you will see uh, that AW has given you some records. So you need to have these records in your uh, Cloudflare. So since all you have to do is copy these one by one and paste it in Cloudflare. So first of all, let's open the DNS account. Okay. So we need those information added over here, the DNS accounts. So let me just quickly do that one by one. Make sure your proxy status is off every single time. Okay, so once your C name record are done, you need to make sure that your <clears throat> A record is pointing towards your um, cyber panels IP address. Make sure that is clear. So your C name records are done, your A, uh, A records are done, simply scroll down. And you will get your MX and TXT type records as well. Let's copy these as well. First of all, we need the MX records. Now for MX, uh, MX records, you need to copy it from feedback onwards. Since this little 10 is going to be your priority number. Lastly, we need the txt type record. And click on save. So all your records, your DNS records have been added. Now go back to your AWS account and refresh this page. Once you do that, you'll see that your identity status will be changed to verified. So once that is done, scroll down or rather scroll up and go into account dashboard from the left hand side menu. Now from here, scroll down and you will see your SMTP endpoint. You need to copy this. And save it somewhere. Next, you need some authentication. So click on create SMTP credentials. Now all these three things are very important. SMTP endpoint this is going to be your host name, I think so. And your identification or uh, sorry, authentic, uh, authentication. So once you click on show more information, you will be able to uh, see information simply click on create from here click on this and you'll be able to see your username and your password so we'll keep this opened up over here while we work on our motic next so now 
go to your Motic dashboard. From here, we need to configure Motic. Simply click on this gear icon in the left hand side menu. Click on that. Click on configurations. From configurations, click on email settings. Okay, so now we need to enter some information in this window. So quickly you need to go through every single thing over here. For example, your name uh, to send email as is going to be admin motic. Your reply to address is going to be anything you want. Your email address to send email from this is important. We need this to be with, uh, using our domain. Once that is done, uh, services to send mail through. It's going to be other SMTP server. Scroll down now. SMTP host. Now this is going to be the same one. The SMTP endpoint. Copy it and paste it over here. Okay, so your encryption type it's going to be TLS. Next is our port. Our port is going to be 587. Our authentication mode is going to be login. Now you need your username and password over here. So this is going to be your username. And this is going to be your password. So once you have entered all of the uh, relevant information, simply scroll up and click on save. Go back to email settings now let's click on test connection so it's a success now let's click on send test email okay so if you see this message that means that your domain is in the sandbox in aws so you need to have the same email in admit motic so what we're going to do is Simply go in admin account uh, over here. You can enter your email. Should okay, so uh, it should be the same as your form email. Now one, now once that is done, click on save. Now let's go back to configurations, click on email settings. Now once you have done that, click on send test email. Now your email has been sent. So this error only occurs if you're, uh, if you're still in your sandbox and uh, your Amazon SCS account is in the sandbox in AWS. So just to overcome that situation, simply your uh, send email from is going to be same as a reply to address. That's it. So once that is done, we are happy. We are ready to send out mail, uh, uh, bulk emails or mass, uh, mass emails. So let's check that out, how you can do that. Okay, so now that our Motic configurations are done, we'll see how you can send a mass email. So go into the segments from the left hand side menu. From here, click on new. Name your segment. Public name it and save and close. 
so once a segment has been created you'll see that there are no contacts over here so click on no contacts now you can either manually add contacts over here or you can also import a file so we'll just do that now choose your owner that will be myself your contact segment i want it to go into segment 1 and import in browser i only have three contacts in this folder so that's why i'm doing uh, import in browser but if you have thousands of contacts in your um folder you can do it import in background so once that is done go back into segments and you will be able to see that now in your segments there are three contacts Now let us see how you can send an email. So go into channels from the left hand side menu and click on emails. So from here click on new. Click on new segment email. Since we need to add contact segments in it. I'm going to choose a black one, uh, a blank template from here. You can of course customize it in the builder as much as you want. Add the subject line, internal name. Now this is important. You have to add your contact segment. So I want segment one over here. So once that is done, and I'm satisfied with it, and I'm assuming that I have um, manipulated the template in the builder and customized it. once i'm done with it click on save and close once this is done close it and you will be able to see that your email one has been done but it is in pending right now so your email one will be sent to three contacts but they are in pending to send the bulk email just click on this little icon and click on so right now i only have 3 but for example if i have thousands of contacts i can enter the number of emails to be sent per batch and let's click on send so that's it that's how you can start and send your emails so of course these were dummy emails so that's why um they were not sent but this is how you can send your bulk emails so that's it for today if you still have any questions just drop a comment in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe sabita